Hi everybody, it's me, Miss Lisa. I would like to invite you, boys and girls, kids and teens, to participate in South Huntington Public Library's second annual Trash and Fashion event. Trash and Fashion is clothing that is made from recyclable material, and this recyclable material can be found in your home. It's everything from paper to newspaper to bubble wrap to plastic bags, cardboard tubes, and egg cartons. The object here is to be as creative and crazy as possible. You can design shirts, shorts, skirts, pants, dresses, shoes, anything you like. Whatever you design, we'd love to have your grown-ups take a picture of you wearing your outfit, send that picture along to us, and we'll use those pictures to create a virtual fashion show that we will post on our website or Facebook page sometime next week. Some of the things that you may have lying around your house that would be great items for designing clothes include paper, big pieces of paper like this brown paper, or scraps of wrapping paper. Wrapping paper is nice because it's really colorful. You may also have newspaper lying around. Newspaper can be unfolded. You can tape the pieces of newspaper together to make large sheets of paper that can be turned into shirts or dresses or skirts. You may even be able to make a pair of pants out of the newspaper. Bubble wrap can be used to make clothing. You can wrap it around your body like this. You can tape pieces of it together to make a vest like that. You may even be able to make bubble wrap pants. Paper bags can be cut open to, turn in, to be turned into large pieces of paper that can be cut into smaller shirts, vests, or even skirts. I took a paper bag, I took two paper bags, and I made sneakers out of them. Another material that you may have lying around that you may never have thought would, could be turned into clothing would be a shipping envelope. These are nice and padded. You can cut them open, tape them together, and make pieces of fabric out of them that you can cut into smaller pieces for designing clothes. Colorful gift bags can be turned into shirts, shorts, shoes, or boots. You can decorate your clothing with pages from magazines. Lots of colorful things and even some words that you could cut out and paste onto your clothing. Paper, paper and plastic bags. These are really fun. They can be cut into strips. You can use the strips to tie things together. Uh, you could make skirts out of them. You can wad them up like this and embellish them to make hats or bow ties. Maybe even if you cut them into long strips, you could do shoelaces or belts. Rings. This is a ring from Curling Ribbon. I took scraps of yarn and hot glued them onto the ring to make a bracelet. That's one of the accessories that you may be able to make from the things you have at home. Here's a different kind of bracelet that I made using a shipping tape roll. These are bottle caps. Inside each bottle cap is a picture I cut from a magazine. I used hot glue and tacky glue to glue this all together and now I have a beautiful bracelet. Some of the materials you might need to have on hand to construct your garments include tape, plain scotch tape, is good for connecting things together. Uh, shipping tape, colorful duct tape. Of course, you will need scissors. You may want markers for marking the shapes that you'll need to cut. For connecting your pieces of clothing, glue sticks and tacky glue. For really tough stuff to get together, a hot glue gun but be sure to ask a grown-up for help if you want to use a hot glue gun. Uh, what else do we have here that you, could, that you might want to have on hand? We talked about the bubble wrap. We talked about newspaper, egg cartons, another thing that you could use to make bracelets. You could make headbands. These are strips of egg carton. Maybe you can use a whole egg carton to make a hat. All right, so... Here is one of my trash and fashion creations. This is a vest I made from brown crinkly paper. 
I constructed pockets using um, bubble wrap and a stapler. My sleeves are made from the mesh bags that some onions and some oranges came into in. I made pockets and decorations at the top with piece, pictures from a magazine. I can just slip my arms through the sides and I have a beautiful vest. I made a really fancy outfit out of Amazon padded mailers. I cut a whole bunch of Amazon padded mailers into big sheets. I taped those sheets together. I took a shirt from my closet and traced the shape of the shirt onto my fabric, cut out the fabric, laced the sides together using strips cut from a paper bag, made some fringe with the paper with the um, plastic bag and I made a nice belt using a newspaper bag. So this outfit now looks like this and I'm very proud that I had enough Amazon mailers to be able to make a matching hat. This hat is made from the bottom half of a gallon sized milk jug. If you'd like to make a hat out of a milk jug, please ask your grown-up to cut the top of the milk jug off, throw the top into your recycling bin, and let you have fun with the bottom. I taped the Amazon mailer to the bottom of the milk jug, and I made a nice fun and floppy ribbon out of newspaper strips. So those are two of the items that I made actually two items plus one vest equals three items that I made using things I found around my house. So again, I challenge you to make the craziest, most creative outfit you possibly can finding recyclable and scrap materials around your home. Send us a picture, we'll turn it into a fashion show, and I wish you good luck and happy designing. Take care and I'll see you soon.